let's make tissue paper stained glass. So I'm using some wax paper as kind of my base. As you can see, I rolled out a bunch of it and I taped it right in the middle. That's because I'm going to put the tissue paper right down here and then when I'm done, we're going to take this tape off and this will actually come over and be on the top. It's a kind of a way to seal this in. Now, you can use you can do the same kind of thing with contact paper. So if you use contact paper, you do not have to use any glue. You just simply stick the pieces of tissue paper down and then fold it on itself and it becomes, and it just adhe adheres to itself and you don't need any glue. This way, with wax paper, there's a little bit more involvement with it, but the kids do have fun kind of painting with the glue. So you'll need some, colored tissue paper. I've got some various colors here. You can use a pair of scissors if you want, but I actually like to rip it um, instead. And I know the kids do too, but it's really up to your personal preference for your kid. So I took some regular glue, but I watered it down pretty well um, so that it's kind of a little bit runny. Um, you can use Mod Podge if you want, if you thin it out a little bit. So you want to try to work in small areas. So you can just paint this on like this and then stick it right on top and then keep going. This is kind of like Mod Podge, but not entirely like it. but you just want to keep continue to do this until you've covered all the areas that you want. So have fun. And if you want to take your colors that you want and, you know, rip them up ahead of time so that you don't they're not doing this while, you know, you're trying to paint the glue. you just keep going adding a little bit more everywhere you go they can be big chunks little chunks you can overlap like I'm doing here and just go on top of it however you want it to be just keep adding more colors and different sizes Okay, I'm going to finish this up here and then we'll come back for part two and then we'll finish this up. So once you have covered this whole area here with all your pieces of tissue paper, go ahead and have, have them paint a layer on top. So you just kind of want to seal these all in and get them all nice and wet with your glue concoction here. And we want to kind of, kind of want to work a little bit quickly with this because we don't want it to dry too much before we do the next step. So I had been kind of putting the glue on as I went so I don't have too much of this step. And it looks like a big gooey mess right now. But we just want to get it nice and wet. And you see how they're starting to kind of bleed together. That's okay. We like that look. At least I do, because it kind of makes it look like stained glass. So once you've got those all together um, covered, you want to carefully peel off your paper or your tape here. And then we'll slowly take your wax paper and fold it over on top and just press down and hopefully you've put enough glue to where it will stick to itself. So then what you want to do from here is keep it nice and flat until it dries and you might actually put some something heavy on top of it like a book or something like that. Make sure that you wipe off any excess glue that comes off the side. 
but you want to lay it flat to let it dry and then once it dries you can trim it with some scissors so it's nice and square and then you can hang this in your window to let some sunlight show through.